Wow, we're on day five. Welcome to another tutorial in the 24 hour, 24 day image creation marathon brought to you by Instagraphics. That's my company where I teach you to create standout images quickly and easily on your iPhone, iPad, or computer. Now, I'm your host, Grace Taylor Siegel. I wanna thank you for being here. There are so many places that you could be and I know you're very busy. So I just want you to know that I appreciate your sharing your time with me and I'm going to do my best to teach you something valuable. So let's look at our app for today. You can see the image on the screen. Um, the app that I've used is called Mobile Monet and it is one of my favorites. I've been using it for a long time. Now the image here, it's, uh, it's of Miss Kim Luna. I don't know if you know who she is. Her company, it's the, the initials are represented by those balloons there, BTBY, that stands for Be True Brand You. Kim is a really successful entrepreneur, but she hasn't been in business very long, um, as she will admit, and uh, she talks about that all the time. She has an, a quite incredible story, and she lives not too far from my home, about an hour away. And she was, she's a very generous person and loves to share information and experiences and help other entrepreneurs just like she was when she started. She's a unique lady and uh, she's been holding these, she calls them lady boss uh, meetups. <laughs> And the first two had like 12 or 16. I went to the first two. And then this third one, it was held at her home and 50 women were there. And it was quite a day, I'll tell you. But this photo, as cute as Kimra is, it was really unremarkable, as you'll see when I, when I bring it up. But when you bring it into mobile Monet and you put a little touches of a little of these uh, color touches on it. Uh, this the drawing that Mobo Monet brings forth. Uh, you've got something really, like I say, stand out. So, without further ado, let's let's get this going. Um, all the apps that I'm demonstrating are for the iPhone. Most are for the iPad also, and they're all available in the App Store. I will be incorporating information for Android users at some point in the future, but for now I'm focusing on the apps and the programs for the Apple devices. Now before we get started with the demo, I want to remind you, because of the way I'm recording this video, you can't see my fingers on the iPhone screen. You can only see the actions that occur as a result of my touching the screen and manipulating the apps with my fingers. Now. I'll be adding some call outs to the final video, the one that you're watching now. A call out, it's kind of like a pointer on the screen. It'll show you what I'm touching, draw attention to certain areas. And I'll try to explain everything that I'm doing. But ke please keep in mind that it's my fingers touching the screen of the phone that makes everything that you're seeing happen. All right, so you can see the photo opened this is the original. Let's let's look real quick at the original photo, so you can see how blah it is. See, it's gonna come. Up, nothing special. Now it strips all the color out, like Color Splash did, the number two app that we looked at. But it draws a picture. It it draws out the photo. Now I've just zoomed in by stretching my fingers out on the screen and blowing that photo up. That's about how I had it. And you can, these, there are three tools across the bottom. Uh, the first tool allows you to widen the lines and add shadows. I don't use them. The center one manipulates the screen in a way that I don't need to do at least not for this demonstration but the third icon the little palette that's what you want to touch now okay 
you didn't need to touch it yet. What you want to do is right off the bat, you just start coloring. That's why it's so easy. You don't have to do anything. And see, unlike Color Splash, with Color Splash, it's like, oh, I got outside the lines. It doesn't look too good. With this app, when you go outside the lines, it just makes it look more artistic. Now, in my original photo, I didn't color the other people. I just colored camera and the balloons. Now watch, see how fast I'm doing that? Just amazing, because look how pretty it looks. Now I'm gonna go back, because I wanna create, so I'm pressing the back arrows, because I only want to colorize camera and the balloons. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm drawing over those balloons and I am not worrying if it goes outside the lines because it just sort of looks like an artistic uh, an artistic feature that you know that you meant to have in there. This is the image that I used. That's it. So now let's touch this paint. Okay, this is what it does. So you can change the vibrance. You can make it more pastel washed out, or you can make it pop a little more. I was happy where it was. This makes it darker or brighter. Mm, this says colors, but I don't really see it doing anything. Softness just makes some of the lines softer. I was happy with where it was. So now, I'm just going to press that arrow, if you saw the arrow in the upper right hand corner, and you know that's usually where it is, where you're going to save it or you're going to send it somewhere. And uh, you can send it to any of these places, these are all the usual suspects in here, you can make a postcard out of it. I want to send it to my photo library. And it's going to put it in the mobile Monet file in my photo library. Now I use this I use this app a lot because as I just showed you, it was really easy to use. And the to me the photos just look remarkable. So I wanted to show you, let's see if I can remember where I put it. Um It's in my favorites. And there they are. And there, these are the images I want to show you. So my husband and I spend a lot of time at the beach in the summertime because we live in the Palm Springs area in the desert. It's just hot as heck here. And we try to get away every weekend, every other weekend. We go to Carlsbad. We go to Newport Beach. Those are our favorite spots. And this day, I was sitting on the beach, I was reading my Kindle, looking at the ocean, and I took a photo, you know, nice photo, but then I put it in Mobile Monet, and I colored the whole thing, as you see, there's no black and white areas, and it's like something out of a storybook. Okay, this is the image <laughs> of my husband <laughs> taking a nap. Uh, you know, this photo is not composed in any way. Look, there's a towel. and It's just junky looking as a photograph. But look what it looks like when I put it in Mobile Monet. Now it looks like a painting. So I can't recommend this app highly enough. I really, truly love it. And... Um, Hold on a second, I'm going to tell you how much it costs. It is not one of the free apps, but it only costs 99 cents. There are no in-app purchases. It's basically a one-trick pony, but it is an awesome, awesome one-trick pony. Now, maybe this will appeal to you like it does to me, or maybe it won't, but this app turns your photos into watercolor images and they're just beautiful. So there's not a whole lot more to say about this. I think you've got the gist of it. 
I hope you'll spend that 99 cents and get this app because you're going to be able to create some beautiful images for your social media, your blog, your postcard. And I just want to remind you, if you go to my website, instagraphics.biz, go to forward instagraphic.biz forward slash marathon, that's where you're going to find all of the images in the marathon as well as the video links as they go live. And there's a PDF for each and every app that gives you all the details and information about it. While you're at it, go join my Facebook group. I'm going to be in there discussing the apps and design and photography and all of the things that are so fascinating and make this kind of work so much fun. Uh, The link to join the Facebook group is on that marathon page that I just mentioned, my website, instagraphics.biz forward slash marathon. Or if you go to my website, instagraphic.biz, just sign up for my email list, you'll get a PDF of my favorite image creation apps and I'll send you an email that'll have all the details about the marathon and the contest I'm going to be running. I'm going to announce the uh, details within a few days but the contest prize is every app in the 24 hour 24 day image creation marathon it's 24 apps. So please sign up somewhere. I don't want you to miss out on that. Now, thanks again for being here. Love showing you around this wonderful, wonderful Mobo Monet app. Now, I'll see you tomorrow for image number six and the app next year's. So can't wait to see you and uh, make it a great day.